Be seated in the Holy Ghost. We have only a few minutes left. Thank God. Amen for using. Amen. This lady here. Amen. You see. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord gave a word. And the Lord said he's about to raise up three mighty girls for God. Amen. You don't remember. Come on, somebody. Didn't we talk about that? Amen. It's right in it. It's not normal. Come on, we never heard no revelation like that. It sounds so strange. Sound weird. Girls of God. Amen. Amen. And you know, how many came from Ohio? How many? Is it three? You folks are in trouble. I don't care if you don't like me. I won't tell you like it is. You're going to love me anyway. You're in trouble. Listen. Your work ain't finished. Um, you see, I just got to say things like they are. Your work ain't finished. And I know you're in trouble. You got to run back tonight and whatever. But if it was possible, I would tell you to stay over, stay in a hotel, and finish your job tomorrow. Amen. 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 I, I'm not imposing. No, I'm just considering. So you can consider as well. Amen. That you stay over and tomorrow you'll see the completion of why God have you here. I know you got to go back to your job and whatever. I know, you know, if your faith can get there, then we can work with it. But I got, I got to release it. God don't, God don't miss. It's too hard to hear God when you see something connect. You still behave as if we're ignorant. And trying to run off on our own thing. We heard this Sunday. Three gir mighty girls. I know they're saying over there. This bishop calling us girls. No, all it means that you're humble folks. It's all it means you're humble folks. You're willing to be a child. Because we're all children of God. Say amen. amen. And, and as simple as you take it. It's, not, it's my woman alone. These two over there. They are involved too. I got to say it like it is. God said three. And we didn't know about this. Come on, somebody here. Mighty. God, I'm telling you. It's a mistake you make to come. You shouldn't come. When you come, it's all over. It's all over. Amen. I remember some time ago, uh, 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 we went to Africa. 19 years ago, we went to Africa. And I went in this house. And I see a lady. And I said, I said, listen, woman. You're going to preach. You get upset and say, I am not a preacher. I'm not a preacher. I'm behind the scenes. I say, hey, 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 hey. I lay my hand on her. Today, I can't preach like her. <laughs> you hear what I said? Because when God is raising up, he, do, he doesn't raise up by ability or recognition. Come on, you don't have to be a somebody to be a preacher. Come on, I'm just a nobody. Come on, I'm trying to tell everybody. You ain't saying amen. About somebody. You ain't helping me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who can change and deliver anybody. Amen. Amen. I release this anointing upon you. For, for 10 minutes, we're going to talk about anointed, inspired, and ablaze. Most folks only understand the anointing. They only understand as far. Everybody, I'm anointed. I'm anointed. I'm anointed. Can I, can I get you upset with me? Isaiah 45, somewhere there, says Cyrus was anointed, and Cyrus was not even, I, I'm not sure if he, was, if he was born again, I'm not sure. Did you hear what I said? Don't get upset with me right now. Ha! So most of us stop at being anointed. Everybody, I'm anointed. Let me say I'm anointed. I'm full of the anointing. Ha! Oil alone cannot get the job done. You can't, you can't put the food in oil alone. And then go eat it. <laughs> Are you with me? Let's be real right now. You need the oil. 
You may be anointing, but it's only the beginning. Somebody say anointed. What's this? Come on again. Inspired. Come on. And what? A blaze. To be anointed. And some folks, even the anointing, they struggle with getting it. To be anointed first. First, as the preacher was saying somebody, you got to pray. Come on. You got to praise. So he's preaching about praising as well. You got to partake, it means, of the scripture. Come on, somebody. You got to provide. It means the tithes and offering for the church. And you got to preach. Come on. Are you waiting, somebody? But the Bible says in Isaiah 61, he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he hath what? Anointed me to what? Preach. Did you get those five Ps? Did you get those five Ps? You can't do part of it. You got to do it all. To be anointed at first, you got to be accepted. You know, you got to be saved. You got to be born again. You can't, you can't just want to be anointed and you're not born again. Amen? Somebody said, anointed. It's the second one again inspired you see anointing and inspiration is not the same no it was not anointed men who inscribed the scripture come on somebody it takes more than anointing come on to write what God said to be inspired it takes holiness humility and excellence it takes more we can't go into all of it come on somebody humility come on somebody you, a lot of us anointed but we're full of ourselves so we'll be limited am I right when we preach a good sermon we're waiting to be get a pot come on somebody and that's all right. We, as long as you stay humble. You got to be humble. You got to be humble. You got to be humble. Come on, somebody, to hear God's word. Then you got to be holy. There are some anointed folks who don't live holy. Did I lose you? Folks judge the holiness of a preacher by his power and by the fact that he healed the sick. No, no, no. God, said the, God says the gifts are without repentance. So you can see a mighty anointed man of God and he ain't living right. But God will not inspire him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you with me somebody? He'll heal the sick and can prophesy correct. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I didn't hear what I said. <laughs> He will preach like a Paul today and tomorrow he commit adultery. Can I tell you something? There was a preacher. There was a preacher and this preacher went to a certain country. And I went to that country. I can't call the country. But when I went to the country, I heard about this mighty preacher. Every church I go, he just left there. And my God, the church was so on the fire. While he was preaching, while he was preaching, he heard that his wife in the country came from committed adultery. And he couldn't handle it no more. He had to leave the mission field and go back to that country. And when he went back to the country where he came from, he lit the house of fire, burned the wife to death and her relative to death. He was anointed but not inspired. You have to go beyond anointing. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Anybody heard of a thing called spirit? The older, the older men know. Come on. You see, you see the anointing deeds with a thing you call oil. Do you know oil? Lift your hand if you know oil. Don't worry, I'm not going to be loud. If you know oil, lift your hand. Come on, ladies. Come on, the men don't know. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And oil is flammable. Am I right? Even coconut oil is flammable. Come on, somebody. But there is something more flammable than oil. <laughs> it is called spirit. It's a liquid too. Come on, you have to be careful around it. You have to be careful to scrape any metal around it. Spirit, they use it to light the old time 
sitting in lamps. See, you got, you got to be past age, you know, to, to know what I'm talking about. But the little teaching, come on, it's called spirit. You got to be careful how you use it. When you are getting ready to light that tinning lamp, only a qualified person knows how to dip that thing in the spirit, put it in and light it, or it can burn him. It's called spirit. This is just a form. Come on, somebody, and a type. Come on, come on. Of the spirit of God, huh? the spirit goes beyond the anointing. Come on, somebody here. Hallelujah. Somebody say anointed, inspired, and ablaze. Let me give you one verse on the inspiration. John 14, 7 says, Even the spirit of truth, which the world cannot receive. Oh, and the spirit, come on somebody, because it see it in not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Timothy 3 16. All scripture is given by not anointing. Come on, somebody, but given by come on, inspiration in spirit, not in oil, in spirit. Anointing is not God, but the Spirit is God. Anybody want to finish the sermon for me? Can you fight him and say, No, Bishop, Bishop, no, Bishop, I'm anointed. That's enough. That's enough. Ah! Spirit, holy, holy, holy. That's the other word for God. So when you are in spirit, you are in God. Ooh. That's why you can speak the mysteries. That's why you can say, thus said God, and it cannot miss. You know, after shout it, you can just say it. Hallelujah. Someone say, anointed, inspired. We have a lot of time. And ablaze. Watch me now. There's some folks that are anointed. Some are inspired, but not ablaze. Watch me now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. To be ablaze. Someone took away my glass, he broke. <laughs> to be inspired. Hey, hallelujah. You've got to be kindled. Write it down. <laughs> Inscribed. <laughs> and consumed. Ooh. Ha! You got to be kindled. It means you got to be ignited. Hallelujah. You can be full of oil. Hallelujah. Full of spirit. Hallelujah. But unignited. Come on. Listen. Men of God, women of God, when you are ignited, hallelujah, you burn down stuff. I leave you soaked and may change things a little bit but when you're like ignited stuff around you burn sin burn lies burn but biting burn come on 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 I, I, i'm just showing up right now because no time is gone Are you don't satisfy with being anointed and inspired let nobody limit amen the climax that God has made for you you want to be ablaze can I tell you a secret when you're ablaze you can't stay one place some of you preach good but you just hunger one place you ain't ablaze yet you know what I share I was talking to a man one time in a certain country and he said he don't want Christ he said he want to go to hell he said, ah, I'm going to go to hell. But he went there. I told one boy beside him, I said, get a match. I said, you know the old time matches? You don't know the old time stuff. I'm going to stop preaching. You want too much young people stuff. Come on, somebody. And, and I said, get a matches. And, and the, the young boy heard me. And he said, I said, burn him. He said, no! Fire, let you run. 
Fire! Anybody ever go You don't see the glad in the church? Ooh. Come on, it's fire! Come on, somebody. That's more than the anointing. Come on, somebody here. I hear God said to the body of Christ, we got to go beyond the anointing. He said, you've got to be anointed. Come on. You help me here. Inspired and ablaze. He said, yeah, you got to be ignited. He said, the Holy Ghost would come with tongues of fire. That, 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 that's, that's it being kindled. Come on, it's being kindled, it's being ignited. You must be baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire. Every one of you here, every single saved person must be baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire. Don't leave tonight without that baptism. Then it says you must be what? Inscribed. It means that you must have the word inscribed in your heart. Hallelujah. You must eat it, drink it, soak it. Come on, somebody. Morning, noon, and night. It must be in you. Come on, somebody. So when Jeremiah, come on, somebody, he gave up because he was just anointed and inspired. You know, talking to me, I lose it. He was a mighty man of God. As soon as trouble come, he lock up the church. Come on, somebody. As soon as trouble come, he said, too much attack, too much persecution. I can't preach anymore. More, but he had made a mistake and inscribed the word in his heart. Whoosh, papa. He made a mistake and had the word inscribed in his heart. Jeremiah said, I'm not going. I am not going. I'm not going back. I will never go back to Times Square. I'm not going down there. I ain't gonna let them spit on me. But why is I'm not going to? He walking, going down. He going down. Why? Because the word was in Jeremiah like a fire. Say amen. Stand up, everybody. Woo, she ba 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 ha. ha. It was inscribed in him. Say amen. But not only inscribed, he said he must be consumed with it. You understand, consume? That your whole spirit, your body, your mind, your flesh, the way you do things are consumed. So you are no longer your own. It's like Moses who went up to the mountain to see the Lord. And when he behold the fire of God, hallelujah, and he was consumed when he was coming back, hallelujah, the people said they see Jeremiah's face. They said his skin shone. Come on, his skin was like fire. He was consumed. How could he, his skin be shone? He'll be shining and he'll not be dead because he was dead to the world, dead to sin, dead to vanity. He was consumed. And when you're consumed, your language is different. When you're consumed, you don't lie. You know, some anointed folks lie. You didn't hear what I said. I got to touch that part. You got, you got some anointed men of God lie in a minute. When you're ablaze, you dare not lie. If a lie come out of your mouth, you wonder if you're going to die. Folks will understand that. Because God is a God of truth. So you cannot be here say something different. Come on. And when God can trust you like that, he says in Jeremiah 15, 19, he said, you'll be my mouth. And when you be my mouth, he said, you will know the precious from the vile. You're not mixed up when you preach. You're not in the middle. You're not halfway. You're not double-minded. You're not, come on, somebody. You don't matter who like you or who hate you. You speak the truth. When God knows you speak the truth, he can tell you stuff. He can speak to you because you are ablaze. Say amen. Somebody say anointed, inscribed. No, 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 no. What's the second one again? Hit, go from top again. Anointed, inspired, ablaze. Tonight, if there's anyone here not saved, 
come to Jesus. Before you can get anointed, inspired, and ablaze, you've got to be accepted by Jesus. You've got to be born again. You've got to receive him in your heart. If there's any here tonight not saved, will you come to Jesus? I'm going to invite you if you'll come. We're going to pray with you in a minute. Within a minute, you'll be on our side. If you're here and you're not saved, come. Just as I am. If you're not saved, without one plea, twas that I If you're not saved, will you come to Jesus? If you're not saved, will you come? Be us here tonight. You want to go into the third realm to all the realms. Sometimes it's not easy, even easy to understand the differences and, and don't, don't overdo your brain about it but just make sure you're available for God's climax. Don't satisfy. Don't, don't get filled you know, with pride and filled with yourself and say oh no I'm full of power. No! Jeremiah did not know until he walked away. Many pastors did not know that they were not yet ablaze until they walked away and they did this and they did that. They were not yet consumed. The door is open right now. You may come. You may come. Burning fire. It's burning in my soul. We are burning fire, natural. It's burning in my soul, burning in the morning. have seen evaded the body of Christ and even among those who live holy lives two things I've seen the absence of the anointing yes so many churches they don't believe in the power of the Holy Ghost they don't believe in the baptism of the Holy Ghost you know but they still do good work yes I've seen the absence of the Holy Ghost the anointing I've also seen the absence of the preaching of the gospel. 99% of the body of Christ conclude that they cannot preach. But that's a lie from the devil. Every child of God can preach. Amen. And if you believe it, you'll preach better than every preacher who preach in the pulpit. Hey, because you, you, you're going to start from nowhere. <laughs> Huh. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And anybody can preach that, 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 that verse. Preach it. I mean preach it. Preach it. I mean preach it. Preach it. Then, then finally missing in the body of Christ is the, is the absence of the gift of prophecy. So many things happening 
and barely a prophecy from the church. A lot of little prophecies, you know, from a brother to a brother, and so which is good from a sister to a sister, from a pastor to a church member, and this is all good. But I'm talking about seeing in the spirit things that are about to affect the planet. And God will cause you, hallelujah, to speak because you have been ignited and ablaze. So I'm talking about that's what's missing. The lack of prophecy. But God says in the last days, this would be the evidence of revival. He says, in the last days, I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Come on. And he says, all would what? Prophesy. This is missing. This ignition. <laughs> this blazing fire. It's missing. Everybody anointed. Everybody anointed. Huh? But if we have the fire, we'll move. If we have the fire, we'll run out of the church and go to the square. And some of us have a little fire to be ignited, but we're not ablaze. I'll tell you something. Can I say something? Let me pray. There are some folks who have a little fire, but without anointing. And they make a lot of noise, but, it, but they don't stay for long because the anointing is missing. So you need the anointing. Come on, somebody. Anybody know, ever see the wick in the lamps? Come on. Anybody know lamp wick? Yes. Say yes if you know lamp wick. Yes. If you light it without oil in it, it burns, but won't for long. After a while, the wick burns out. Come on, young people. Come on, somebody. That's being lit without the oil. So you need it. It begins at the anointing. Don't try to have fire without it. It starts with the anointing. You see those little stuff I told you in the beginning? Those, those, those peas, those peas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you then they're going to be inspired by the spirit. Then they're going to be ablaze. Let me see the hands of those who intend to get that far. You intend to get that far, yes. Yes. Just pray right now and God will bring you there. It's, it's, it's kind of like salvation. You pray and believe. Don't, 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 don't lock yourself out of it. Don't put yourself out of it. Don't say, well, I don't look like a preacher. I'm not a pastor's son. I'm a, don't say those things. Come on, somebody. Those days are over. Hallelujah. God is pouring out his spirit upon all. Just pray right now. Pray right now. And God is releasing upon you the anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The inspiration and the fire. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Reach out right now. Reach out right now. Reach out right now. In the name of Jesus. Let the anointing. Hallelujah. Let the inspiration and let the fire come upon your life. Yes. Yes. Talk to him and say, Yes, say, Lord, I'm ready. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, church. Come on, church. Go ahead right now. Go ahead right now. Jesus. Jesus. Tell the Lord, I want it all, Lord. Come on. Tell him, Lord, I want it all. Yes, Lord. Don't be bashful. Don't watch nobody. Don't watch no. I, listen, come on. Don't care about nobody. It may look like a simple Wednesday night service. Come on, somebody. But don't, don't, don't worry about that. It may look like a simple little service, but don't worry about that. Come on, somebody. The anointing. Come on. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on. Come on. You want it all. You want it all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, yes, you're gonna blaze like Jeremiah. <laughs> ha! My God, my God, my God. Yes, that's a few more seconds. Come on, let's reach out of here. The anointing, the inspiration. Hallelujah! It is coming. Consume me, Lord, with the fire. Yeah, yeah. Ha ha. When I'm consumed. Ha! Hallelujah. All else becomes nothing in the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Come on. A few more seconds. A few more seconds. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I release the gift of prophecy. The gift of prophecy upon you right now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost.
my God. Yes, the gift of prophecy, the gift of revelation upon you right now. Receive it, my God, my God. Ba -ba 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 -ba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My, my, my. Hallelujah.